Hi everybody, welcome to another Tutorial Tuesday video. Today I'm going to show you a really cool technique that uses different quote layers. You'll learn how to create a graphic like this in just a few minutes when you use the Graphics Creator by Laughing Bird Software. <music> Hey everybody, thanks for stopping by. If this is the first time you've seen one of my videos, my name is Mark Sylvester and this is a tutorial on using a really cool software product called the Graphics Creator. It helps you create all kinds of graphics for your social media accounts, your blogs, your web pages, or just having fun, whatever you need graphics for. So like I said, today we're gonna talk about layering. It's a really cool technique I wanna show you. Now, what do I mean by layering? Here, let me open up a template really quick. Now, layering is simply putting something on top of something else. Here we have the star. We can put the curtains over the star. And we have the text over everything else. That's kind of what I mean by layering. Okay, so let me get out of here back to the home page. And for this tutorial, I'm going to start with a blank design. Okay, and just so you can see it for the video, I'm going to make it pretty big. So let's talk about layering. For example, if I create a new rectangle, I'm gonna to go to edit and hit new rectangle. And I'm gonna make this shape color something like uh, green like this. And I'm going to turn it a little bit, make it pretty big and send it up here. Okay, and then I'm gonna create a drop shadow on it. I'm gonna blur it a little bit and set the blur opacity down so it's not so harsh. And then I'm going to duplicate this. Now, in this tutorial, I'm gonna be duplicating the, the shapes and the text a lot. So this is a really cool technique. Watch. I'm gonna duplicate the shape and it pops on top. And now I'm going to colorize this. Return to shape, color, shape, color. And I'm gonna colorize this similar green, but a little darker maybe, okay? And then I'm going to make it bigger even. And then I'm gonna send it to the back. Whoops, <laughs> send to the back. Okay, so here we got some layering ideas going on. Now you're, you're gonna kinda see the concept. Okay, and then of course I'm going to duplicate that again. Pop it to the front, change the color of this one a little bit. A little darker, something like that. And send this to the back. Okay cool little background that we're creating. Okay, let's just do one more. I'm gonna duplicate this one, pull that down. Cool, and then we can set the canvas. These are the shapes. The canvas now, if I click on it, I can come up here to canvas color and make this something like, cool. And there is our very first layering technique using the graphics creator. <laughs> Okay, so what can you do with this image? I don't know, maybe you can make a background out of it. So to make a background out of it, all we have to do is click on the word file, and we're gonna save this, or we're going to download it. We're gonna download it to our desktop, and we're gonna name this Green Layer Background. Cool, download it. And then the next time you're in the middle of creating your awesome masterpiece, you can probably use it as a background. Click and drag it from my desktop onto the canvas, send it to the back, bam. Okay, let's head back to the home page, and I'm gonna start with a blank canvas. And I'm gonna make it fairly big so you can see it on the video here. Okay, this layering technique might come in handy at some point in your design, so let me show you this, watch. Come up here to edit, and I'm gonna create some new text. And we'll call this, um, I think, I have an idea, so I'm gonna call it candy, okay? And I know, because I practiced this a little bit, that a rounded font works best. So I'm gonna come up here to the text format, and I already know the font that I wanna use, so I'm gonna pick a Google font, and this particular font is called Pacifico. So if I start typing it in, the word Pacifico pops up, and I can click it, and the text changes to Pacifico. Okay, so since it's candy, the first thing I wanna do is come over here, return to text menu, and I'm going to set the text color to uh, candy color-ish. Okay, cool. And for now, I am going to set the outline off. All right, so far so good. Now, here comes the layering. I would like a long drop shadow beneath the word candy. And here's what I mean by that. 
I'm gonna come up here, and like I said before, we're gonna do a lot of duplicating in this tutorial. So I'm gonna come up here, and I'm gonna choose Duplicate, and I'm gonna make this um, black. So set the color to black. Fairly close. Now, you're gonna notice that uh, there's some white holes here. We wanna fill the holes up here, so now what I'm gonna do is click on the front candy, the top layer, and I'm gonna go over here to Text Shadow, and I'm gonna create a black text shadow, and I'm gonna fill the holes up. See how you can move, move the text here? So without the, tech, without the drop shadow, we get these holes here. With the drop shadow, the holes fill up. Now we have a longish kind of a shadow there. So what happens if I try it just a little bit longer? If I go up here more, and I set the distance a little bit further down, eh, it doesn't quite work. Okay, so it can't be too far, but you got the idea, cool. Okay, so again, we have a top layer with a black drop shadow and a bottom layer that we had duplicated that's just black text. Hey, that gives me an idea. Let's, what if I take this text and give this a drop shadow? How much longer can I make the shadow? Let's try it. Text shadow, and let's make this one fairly long. And let's bring that back over. Let's see what happens. Oh, that's pretty cool. Doesn't quite work, but it gives you a, a longer shadow. Not bad. <laughs> okay, cool. Now I'm going to duplicate this one more time. Come up here. And I'm going to duplicate the word candy again. But this time I'm going to take off the shadow. So I'm going to come up here and turn off the text shadow. It's gone. And I'm going to come back over here and I'm going to create a really thin black outline. Now that's too thick. So I'm going to make it a little bit thinner and I'm going to bring it in front of this word candy. But I think now that I have done that, I'm going to click on the middle layer and I'm going to make this text white. So I'm going to return to the text menu, come up here to text color and I'm going to see what happens. I have an idea here. Make it full white. And actually, that looks pretty cool in itself. <laughs> but I'm going to bring the top layer over here so that I get a little bit of a split effect. See how these kind of split like that? That's kind of neat, right? Kind of gives it a, um, a 3D kind of effect. It's a little confusing because the white background is here. So let's click on the canvas and make it just a little bit darker here so we can see this better. All right, that's better. So now I can kind of manipulate this so that I have kind of a white edge like that. Now, when you do layers like this, you can just goof around with everything. So I'm gonna try, as I'm doing this tutorial, this is live, so if it works, it works, great. If it doesn't, then <laughs> we'll go back to this. So I'm going to choose a different color of an outline, like maybe yellow. Kinda works, kinda works. What if I made an outline on this middle layer so outline, really, really thick. Well, let's, what, what does that look like if I bring this up like this? All right, that's looking kind of cool. But what if I create a small drop shadow underneath it? Let's try that. Return to text menu, come to text shadow, and set the distance further away. And let's set the opacity of the shadow now down. All right, that's looking kind of, kind of interesting. How about if we take the shadow and make it a different color? Not bad, okay, so what if we make the word candy with a black outline? Like I said, when you do layers, you just goof around with, with all the controls until something strikes your fancy. <laughs> okay, so one more thing I'm gonna try to do really quick is go to text color, and I'm gonna go to the gradient tab now, and I'm gonna set the top one yellow like this, and the bottom one maybe pink or something like that. Or orange. All right, that's looking kind of psychedelic. Cool. And now, because I'm seeing how cool this looks, I'm gonna try something really quick. So I can select everything at once by clicking on the canvas and dragging a marquee around everything. And now I can rotate all of them at once. And I can hold, if I go to the middle, uh, the middle top one here like this and hold my shift key down, notice how this changes into a right pointing arrow instead of an up pointing arrow. So my shift key's down and now I'm gonna click and drag 
and I can kind of italicize it a little bit. And why I want to do this is because let's turn it a little bit like that. One more time, do this. And now I'm going to bring in, I'm going to come up here to photos and video, and I'm going to type in something like, um, I don't know, let's try candy. <laughs> and we get some pictures here that look pretty cool, pretty cool. Let's try. Let's see what this looks like. Might be too busy. Bring this to the back like this. Bring it to the back. Okay, can't see it, so I'm gonna delete that and see what else. If we keep going a little bit here, well, that's kind of good. Um, oh, wait, here we go. Look at this. All right, so this isn't quite candy, I guess. It's cinnamon. But it's a great picture, and I want to use it because that looks pretty cool. So there you go. There's kind of an ad or a signature kind of thing, and that's pretty cool using layers. So one more thing I'm going to do. Let's close that. I'm going to click on the top candy. I'm going to duplicate this, and I'm going to say land. And I'm going to set the color of the word land to full on yellow. Now I duplicated it, and you notice that it's the same font, same uh, slant even. So that's kind of a cool technique, right? Cool, and I can put just a tiny drop shadow probably on it like this. Make it black. And set the distance just a little bit. And one more thing. Like I said, if I duplicate uh, the font, it's the exact font and the exact slant and the exact color. So let's try something. I'm going to come up here to edit and I'm going to duplicate that and I'm going to use uh, type in an exclamation mark like this and it's already set to the right slant and everything. Look at that. That's pretty cool. I'm going to save this one. Now if you save this, you can use it for all kinds of things. Let's say candy isn't um, what your blog article is about. Maybe your blog article is about dolphins. So watch how quickly I can change all of this. So first I need to come up here to photos and videos to see if there's a dolphin picture. I don't know. I've never done this before. Dolphin. Dolphins. Oh my gosh, there's a whole bunch. Okay, let's take this guy. This is really cool. So bring him over and let's make him really big. Send it to the back. Take away the candy. And now this is in layers, so yeah, it's going to be a little bit of work for you. <laughs> but nothing that looks great is going to be easy. So we're going to change the word candy to dolphins. So you got to change that layer. And you got to change this layer. Double click it. And the final layer here. Okay, that really wasn't that hard. <laughs> okay, now come over here and let's re-layer, uh, reposition this stuff kind of weird colors. Let's change this. Let's close this real quick. Let's change the word, the color of dolphins to just straight blue. Let's see what happens if I make it a light blue. All right, that's cool. And instead of land, well, we can say land, but instead of land, let's, uh, it's the dolphin documentary. <laughs> okay, so I want to drag all of these over to the, to the left a little bit. So just for temporarily, I'm going to move the dolphin out of the way. Again, I'm going to click on the canvas and scroll all the way over and just move everybody to where I think I want it. Set that about there and bring the little dolphin dude back down. And that is a really cool picture. And I'm going to save this one too. <laughs> Cool. I hope this gave you a few ideas for using this layering technique. Let me know what you think in the comment section below. And if you haven't yet, make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel so you don't miss any other cool techniques you can try. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you on the next video.